Are you looking to create a project network diagram in Excel? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be showing you how you can build one from scratch and so that you have this visual and sequential um, diagram that you can see the logical relationship between the tasks in your project setting. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to build it. I'm going to give you some tips and suggestions along the way, including some formatting suggestions. But if you're short for time, then you can actually buy this template. I'm offering this template for a, as a download uh, and it will be less than the price of a cup of coffee. So if you want to save yourself some time, I would suggest clicking that link. As I say, that will be in the description down below. Otherwise, let's get into it. So this is what we're looking to build. And the way I would you know, visualize this and imagine it, so on the left hand side, we've almost got our working area. And on the right hand side, we are going to have the actual diagram itself. And one thing that you're going to, to note is that these are kind of, the way I've built this is these are kind of images that are kind of linked to the working area on the left hand side. Uh, so as you can imagine, um, when we move things around on the in the actual diagram itself it's all very very responsive and the beauty of this particular setup is that these images are linked to the working area so as an example if i was to change something here um let's say the um the early start date to say two you will see it update here so that's one of the benefits of this particular diagram so i just wanted to give you that kind of information before we started and with that said let's get on to building it from scratch so i've opened up this new um empty brand new tab and as you can see this is what's probably greeting you right now you've got this spreadsheet in front of you and the first thing you'll know is that the actual cell dimensions aren't what we need them to be so we will get onto that in a moment um actually we'll do that first because i think that makes sense to do that first so what we want to do is select every single cell in the spreadsheet and i've done that by clicking top left and that enables you to select basically every cell every column every row in the sheet what we need to then do is if we right click on column A and click on column width, I would suggest moving this or changing this to three. And on the row height, I would suggest changing this to about 20. And you'll see here that's basically created squares and that's going to be essential for what we end up creating in a moment. So just bear that in mind. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the title. Um, so that gives anybody who opens this up an idea of exactly what it is. So this is obviously going to be project network diagram. Now, I like to bold it. Uh, we're going to make it bigger. So I'm going to put it to about 20, maybe a bit more actually. 20, let's put it to 30, oh, that's a bit too, bit too much, get, get carried, carried away there. And then what we can do is, if you just select this one, we can obviously move this, this down. Um, obviously all the other cells remain, but this one can be slightly larger. And then in, if I go to column B to, uh, da, 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 let's go to column N, and we are gonna go merge and center. And then if we put, that's already in the middle there, um, then what we can do actually i need to let's make this a little bit smaller there we go just so it fits excellent so that's the first thing we've done there so we've got the kind of title now another thing you can do here is put some fill color in i like a gray that's actually a bit too dark that one um i think gray is quite professional uh but you can obviously choose any color you want you can make this quite colorful uh, depending on your needs now the next thing we need to add is the activities list so i'm going to do that now so activity list and this is building that area where we can kind of work from in a moment so we'll put that as center um uh, let's put that as merge and center as well no we don't want merge and center but let's just actually just move this to in here it doesn't actually matter all we need to do is just show that that's kind of in the, in the center there that doesn't actually and i'm gonna make this a little bit darker and i'm gonna bold bold this text oh i've got to find where i wrote it now okay let's just do that select the row bold and i'm gonna put it in a nice white just to kind of differentiate it and make it stand out now the next thing we need to do is the actual aspects of the diagram themselves so all you need to do here is select a three by three square and put all borders around it. Now, what 
is a good thing to do is you know that's that, that would work but i like to kind of really clearly define the borders so look for those thick outside borders so basically go back into here and we want to click on this and then you not kind of need to just do little sections at a time and keep pressing this button just to make sure um, those thick borders kind of apply to every aspect of the actual squares itself so i think i'm missing a few still um, and there we go so basically you see what i did there just selected different parts of it press um, the thick outside borders a few times just to make sure it's kind of fills the entire square and you'll see when it's done when it's like this now the next thing you need to do is click uh, merge and center in here and this is where we are going to be uh, building the activity name and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so it fits and then we need to put in so this is imagine this as the kind of uh, um, key so this one obviously we need to go through the different aspects so the early start here um, we're actually going to put so if I do if I select all of these and if I select this one here it will put them all in the middle which is which is what we want so we've got the early start duration uh, early finish uh, bottom left we will be having the late start and then in the middle here it's a float and then on the right we want the late finish so this is kind of the reference for for, 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 for you know that you need to consider um, and then what we want to do at this stage is um, is we essentially need to copy and paste so select all of these cells press C uh, control C on your keyboard we're going to go here and we're going to press uh, control V and it's brought it across now I'm actually going to wipe these out and we're going to put that as one now what you can do here is I recommend doing about 10 of these um, just down the side so once you've brought this across copy and paste we just need to now select all of those again press control uh, C and then basically build out uh, a further nine just so you have around 10 it depends how big you want your prep project network diagram to be um, but I'm, I'm going to start with 10 you can always build more later so we're literally just going to keep doing this control uh, v in each so i'm selecting this uh, cell uh, i've already pressed control c on this one and then i'm just pressing control v just to basically create uh, each one uh, so we've got one and then you just need to change the numbers so one two three four five six seven eight so i was one short nine oh let's just copy that one doesn't really matter and then just change that to 10. now the next thing i would actually quickly do sure you've done this before is we're going to make the background uh white and i'll show you why in a moment so actually we, you know what we can just do this and we just just do that and there's a reason actually no we don't want to do that sorry excuse me let's get rid of that I think that can be a bit confusing. We want the grid line still. So let's just do it in the in the um, squares itself. Sorry, I could have probably saved a bit of time uh, if I'd done this up front in the first one and then copied the first one. But I would recommend doing this and I will show you why shortly. So we're just going through all of these. Make sure all the background's white. Um, and then that's done now so we've got we've got our uh, diagrams on the left hand side our activities now what i would suggest doing is if you click in let's go column o if you actually no sorry yeah select say column n just somewhere across where we can split up the screen and what we're going to do here is just go um no 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 i'm 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 going a bit mad let's do that so what we want to do is click uh, column a and then column n and then you want to select uh, outside borders and you'll see that's brought a line in here probably not too far actually after all of that so let's get rid of that <laughs> bear with me um, let's do it to about here and we're going to go like that and as you'll see so what i did there sorry i should explain that selected column a gone to column j and i've just gone to outside borders uh, or borders i should say and we've gone with uh, outside borders and as you'll see that's put a line in here so what that is essentially doing is it's different differentiating the the left hand side which is where we're kind of building things and the right hand side which is the actual diagram itself so that's where we actually build it out um so um 
I'm really sorry. I've realised after all of this, I've put this in wrong. What an absolute numpty. Excuse me. That should be schedule network diagram, not project network diagram. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, we've got that in. Now what we want to do is we want to put in some freeze panes. So to do that, we are going to go uh, view and click in column K, select it, I should say, select column K, then click freeze panes and then click freeze panes. And the reason why we want to do that is because when we start obviously scrolling across, you'll see it keeps the schedule network diagram to the left hand side. Now, as you can see, I've cut it off. I'm making all sorts of errors here, but that's what Excel is all about. Let's be honest, you know, I make, it's so easy to make mistakes. So let's just get rid of it just to show you. Um, I think actually making mistakes in videos is actually a good thing. I must admit, because um, when you make them, you kind of see, these are the kind of things we all do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm glad I'm showing you how to kind of rectify them. Um, so we don't want any borders now, no border. And I've completely messed it up again. So bear with me. We don't want this border anymore. You know what? What we're going to do is we're just going to move this to here. Can't do it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's just move that to this one. All I'm trying to do is get the diagram to fit. Let's just do that. Let's just make it smaller for now. You get the idea. Anyway, when I scroll across now, it should fit. Oh, I've put the freeze panes off. Oh dear, oh dear. You can see why it might be easier to just buy it, can't you? Oh dear, where is it? Um, so select here. I thought it was going to be easy to show you this today. Oh dear. Um, I'm literally losing my mind. View. Freeze. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right, let's scroll across. There we go. <laughs> it works at last. Dear oh dear. You can see what you might need to do here. You might need to make sure you make give yourself some extra room. You need to make sure this isn't, you know, better weather. Now we've done that. Let's get into the actual nitty gritty. Right, what we want to do here is... Select over one of the uh, aspects of the diagram, uh, or activities I should say. Control C. Now, when it comes to here, let we want to build it, build it across. Right click, and we want to paste special. And when it comes to the options, you want it to be a linked picture. And the reason is, if you start adding these numbers, which I alluded to at the start of the video, then it's going to populate on the right hand side. And a second thing, which I'll just mention at this point, is you know we went through and added, made the white background? Well, that essentially, you'll see it make, makes it pop and it, it kind of prevents individual grid lines in each of the pictures. If we didn't have that, you'll see the grid lines in the background. It just looks a little bit messy. So that's why we did the kind of white background here. Um, and for some reason, white, there we go. So this is activity one. Uh, we'll leave these in now, you know, the early start, the um, duration and early finish, we'll leave that in, but you could obviously change that. Now, all you need to do really is just go through and build out your diagram. So same concept applies. I like to use the grid lines, so I'm actually going to, you know, use about two in between each one. Uh, we're going to go paste special again as a picture. And that obviously enables us to move it around. And it also, as I said, relates back to this particular thing. So whenever you need to make updates, you just go in here. Uh, it makes it a lot more simple, makes it a lot more neat. So, oh yeah, all you essentially need to do is, oh, didn't want to do that. God, I'm full of mistakes in this video. I'm really sorry. Hopefully it's quite entertaining and educational. Um, we'll put three in just to show you the illustration. Uh, we want that. Oh, I didn't even do the control. Not even doing my own. Uh, oh not even doing my own um, recommendations. Pay special, here we go. So that's the third one. So we're, we're starting to build the diagram out. Now, of course, this is gonna depend on your needs and your project and how your activities flow into each each one. Um, what we all, all we need to do now is add the arrows. So to do that, we just need to go insert uh, shapes and you have a few options. So when it comes to lines, you can either do straight lines uh, or line arrows, or you can kind of do these uh, connectors. And that obviously would be applicable if you had like a uh, an activity that you wanted to put down here and you wanted to connect it via a, an elbowed look, if that makes sense. So in this context, we only need to do the straight ones. Uh, so let's go insert shapes and we're gonna go here. 
And you basically, when I press that, you'll see it's given us four little uh, areas to work from. You basically just need to connect them um, together. And by default, it's been set up as blue. You might want that. You might, you know, visually look great. You might want it to be green. It could be anything you want here. I'm going to go gray to keep this all kind of in um, in sync. And then the other thing you can do is just make this, uh, where is it, shape outline. You can give the, the the line a little bit more weight. I think by default that's, that's not very clear. So I like to kind of make it a little bit bigger. And as you'll see there, we've got that set up. And you could even do a control C and a control V and you could just pop that in there. That's probably, uh, I say that, there you go. It's probably easier than going into insert shapes every time. But that's pretty much it. You get the idea here. And then as of course, when you want to update the numbers, you just go back into here. So let's say we wanted to do this one. You just put this, just put one, two, three as an example. And it's all kind of populating. So that's how to build a schedule, schedule network diagram with a few errors in between. Um, this is essentially what you kind of, what you can kind of get to. Um, and this is the template. Don't worry, I won't send this ridiculous looking one to you if you were to buy this. Uh, this is the one that you'll be buying if you did want to do that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and you finally <laughs> you got through it. Um, I hope we made you laugh along the way. Um, if, it was, if this video was useful, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel where you'll get a lot of different videos on building different project artifacts in Excel. And I can promise you, none of them are like this. They're all pretty, uh, I don't really make many mistakes in any of my videos, but this one, I'm just gonna go with it because you know, time is of the essence. So I would suggest checking out my channel. I've got lots of different videos on Excel and on project management in general. Um, and with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.